I'm going to get the unit, I'm going to turn it on its side. I've kind of opened this one already in the interest of time. But normally the seams are sealed. And what you're going to do is you're going to get either a flat tip screwdriver or you're going to get a, some forceps from a phone opening kit. Right? Um, the ones like these will do just fine. Right? And what you're going to do is you're going to actually try to get it into the seams. Here. Now the easier end to start to open it would be here. You're going to force it into the forceps here. Now there's no screws and this will clip apart. As soon as you get it apart, you're going to force the seams apart over this section here. Next, to open it, I find it easier to open it by actually placing the forceps here and then forcing this section apart. Then you're going to open a small groove here. Groove here. Then you're going to actually run it along the edging and open it. As soon as you have enough separation, um, you're going to actually force it open. If you find that the forceps are not working, the screwdriver will work just as well. All right. So you're going to remove the back. All right. As you can see here, this is the inside of the unit. All right. This is the battery. And if you are interested in getting out the battery, like replacing the battery, just remove these four screws here then you're gonna detach it from the motherboard here and actually replace the battery but what we're interested in here is the motherboard section all the way along here right um, if this was the GSM edition you would have a additional piece here all right all right our interest is this section over here so what we're gonna do is this is the power button as you can see, it's a L shape, almost like a golf club on the inside of here. Um, what we're going to do actually do is to remove the motherboard and actually get to the real power switch. Um, what we're going to do is to actually cut the video a while and show you how to disassemble it. To do this, we'll have to remove the screws here, make some disconnections on the boards, and so on. All right? So I'm going to cut out and I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what to do. Alright guys. Okay so now as you can see we have actually disassembled the unit. This is the battery in case you're interested. Uh, you can see the specifications. You have disabled it or disconnected from the motherboard. Um, you can do this repair yourself or you could go on eBay or so on and they'll charge you like $50. So to save yourself some money, you could do this, all right? So the points at which you're going to disconnect from the board include, you're going to disconnect the two speakers from here. You're going to disconnect the power unit from the board here. You're going to disconnect these connectors, all right? There's a connector over here as well. Also, there are uh, motherboard screws here, here, somewhere over... Um, here, here as you can see the the grommet points here, right, and right over here, and of course over here. So once you remove those and remove all major connections around the board, see if to start lifting the the board. All right. So you can nudge it from its place and here fully remove it. There's some sticky tape on the underside. Now, if you are looking carefully, you can see the, if I could get the camera to focus, you can actually see the real power button right, right there on the screen. Ah, there it is. That white section right here. 